and we are recording. Guess what, folks? It's Sunday. Yes, it fucking is. Time for a bit of what's up. So, uh, before we get into this, gonna make a little announcement about a new shop opening. Not me. I'm not opening. I'm not opening a shop, but uh, a, a rather well-known figure in uh, the the live broadcasting scene. He's on. He's 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 you know he's on as guest or semi-regular host for the Saturday show, for instance. Graham. Net Reality used to run the Amatorium line of e-liquids. He's opening up. In fact, I've got his logo here. I just remembered. I've got his logo here somewhere. Here it is. He, he's opening up a new online shop, and it's called Vape Gems. I'll just leave the logo down there. And the whole idea behind Vape Gems is rather a good one, and I'm surprised no one's done it before. What he's going to be doing, he's going to be stocking all of the well-known liked e-liquids so it's not just a case of graham going out there and just getting all the e-liquids and selling them all he's going to be stocking the well-known liked ones the ones that everyone keeps talking about and they're going to be under the one roof he's going to be stocking fluid of course from the uh, from pugs and nevins there's going to be a wick liquor liquids in there in there i think he's going to be stocking luscious i'm not sure though he's going to be stocking a few others as well and it's going to be all under one roof in an online shop, so uh, yeah, um, YouTube dodgy links aside, there should be at least an unclickable link down there to Vape Gems, you'll need to copy and paste it in the description down there, but I'm surprised no one's done this idea before, but yeah, Vape Gems, it launched, uh, it launched this week actually, it launched this week, so uh, there you go, Graham, thought I'd give him a shout out, because the idea's a pretty good one actually. It is a pretty good idea that he's come up with there. So, going to tell you a little story, folks. There's a man who's in his late forties, and he thought he would help thing. He would help out and you know bring down the Christmas decorations from the loft a bit earlier than normal, since everything was piled into the corner. And this guy had to rummage around in the fucking loft for far too fucking long, moving all sorts of stupid boxes out of the fucking way. So, this guy walks up the ladders, or climbs up the ladders, you don't know, walk up ladders, this bloke climbs up the ladders, moves all the boxes out of the way and starts bringing the Christmas decorations down. Because this late 40s guy's a fucking idiot, and the batteries have went flat in my G-Class V2, he thought he was still in his 20s. And he could walk down, not climb down, because he had fucking, fucking Christmas decorations in his arms. Both hands were not holding on to the fucking ladder. And he thought he was still in his 20s. And he could do a jumpy, spinny thing on one of the ladder rungs to kind of spin himself round while holding the Christmas decorations without falling, not realising he's now in his late 40s. Said idiot ended up in hospital thinking he broke his fucking ankle. Yeah. Badly sprained, it turned out. Said idiot happens to be me. <laughs> Accident prone doesn't cover me. It really fucking doesn't. Get on with you. There we go. So that's why there was no UK vape show. Um... That's also why there was no fucking videos up this week either. Because there was all sorts of stuff going on. We're getting ready for Christmas here at the house. Um, and, you know, normally the Christmas decorations are stored in the cupboard that's through that wall in there. Problem is, the cupboard that's through that wall is now filled with all the stuff that used to be at the studio that's now shut down. So the Christmas decorations get popped up the stairs. <sighs> fucking idiot. Oh yeah, I'll be able to spin myself round on this ladder while holding a bunch of Christmas decorations just like I did when I was still in my twenties. The mind still thinks I'm young. The body says, no you're fucking not, you dumb fuck. No, no, no you're not, no. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's going to be catch-up being played next week with the reviews, folks. I do have this in, along with a 
couple of other. It's the uh, Raga AIO from. Uh, Got to hand it to Aspire for their packaging, cause this is fucking phenomenal packaging. It's like an Apple product. Ooh, like an Apple product that's all packaged up here. So it's the Raga AIO that um, Aspire sent, and and um, yeah, I've been testing the thing out. Uh, I've been testing the thing out over the past, th pardon me, three or four days. Got it packed in its box again, ready for the review, which will hopefully be next week. Um, there's also going to be a number of e-liquid reviews, which means that some review days next week may end up being doubled. Right, doubled. In other words, there'll be two reviews going out the same day. I don't like doing this, but I'm playing catch-up because there was no reviews out this week, and I'm trying to push out. I'm trying to push out a number of hardware reviews like this um, before I do the best of, or the my picks it's not going to be a best of my picks of 2023 i'm trying to push out a few other a few more uh, hardware reviews before i start getting that video recorded uh, so expect at least a couple of days next week just a couple of days that's got two reviews up and the one day instead of just one review i don't like doing two reviews the same day but when it comes to the amount of e like would have still to go through the stuff that i picked up but the stuff that i picked up at the UK Vapor Expo, and that was like a month and a half, two months ago now. So there's a load of e-liquids, including all this. Um, the guys at Vapor Bay sent me three of their, they've only released three, so it's three of their own liquids under their own brand, so I've got these to review as well. So, yeah, I need, I need, I need to start working through a lot of these e-liquid reviews. Um, I need to start working through them. And that's basically it, folks. That's literally it. There's been really nothing much happening because I've been in hospital for the for, for like three days <laughs> of the past week. There really isn't much happening. It's just a quick update. What's up to let you know what's going on. Uh, to the patrons, the people on subscribe star and the people on YouTube members, there's going to be a there's going to be a. You're not imagining that noise if you can hear it in this mic. Yes, that's an ice cream van. It is currently... It's a fucking... What's the temperature? It's not freezing, but it was fucking close to... It. Yeah, it's currently 5 degrees Celsius. Um, during the snow, we were getting... Because it was snowing here a couple of weeks ago. During the snow when it was minus 5, that ice cream van was still running around. And yes, people were still buying ice cream. <clears throat> it's Scotland. We're kind of used to the cold, and it's like, oh, ice cream, man! Ice cream, even though it's minus fucking five outside, and it's brass ball weather. Yeah, ice cream, man. So, what the fuck was I talking about again? I get sidetracked, and I can't remember what the fuck I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Patreon subscribe stars and YouTube members, keep an eye out for a video that's going out next week. There's going to be a change. Um, there's going to be a change to one thing and the addition of another. Uh, there's going to be Patreon subscribe star and YouTube member Zoom calls. It's going to be, I can't remember what tier it's for, but the idea was the, the idea was inserted in for the Zoom calls at, at a later date. So the Zoom calls are going to be, the, the Zoom calls are going to be kicking off, um, I think it's for the £25 or dollar or above tier, um, and it's going to be tacked on. Uh, at least the way I'm working it in my head, it's going to be tacked on to the relaunch of the Floofcast. Now, there's going to be live broadcasts for the SX Mini UK Facebook page, which is going to spill into the SX Mini UK YouTube page. For the people that don't know, I'm running SX Mini UK's uh, social media platform so instagram facebook youtube and rumbles an offshoot is basically a backup for youtube it's me that's running all of sx mini uk's social media stuff there's going to be live shows uh, kicking off i still don't quite know what day it's going to be on i'm kind of pinning it on for wednesday around about six o'clock in the evening or seven o'clock in the evening because i don't want to broadcast on top of an existing uk show that's being broadcasted on youtube so i'm kind of pinning it for kind of wednesday at six o'clock or seven o'clock there'll be more details about that at a later date as we go further in past the middle of december going into the end of it but i want to get those live shows started up 
for SX Mini UK, but it will mean that the Floofcast date is go or the Floofcast broadcast day, because Floofcast used to be broadcasting on a Wednesday or a Monday. I'm going to be shifting the day of the Floofcast. And when the Floofcast shuts down, because the Floofcast is an hour long live show with just me and the Patreon subscribe stars and the YouTube folks, when the Floofcast shuts down, the Zoom meet opens up. So that's the way I'm going to be running that. Floofcast closes for the uh, Floofcast for that week closes, and I immediately open up the Zoom room, like, a bit like an after show kind of concept, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. But it's figuring out the days to do it. Because again, don't want to broadcast on top of an existing person that's already broadcasting in the UK. Because everyone knows if I start doing that, people start getting fucking bitchy. It's like, oh, you can't broadcast on top of them! Even though it's SX Mini UK and it's not actually broadcasting on YouTube, it's broadcasting on Facebook. And it's not Vaping with Victor Reviewer broadcasting, it's Victor Mullen, the head of SX Mini UK, Facebook, uh, youtube and and Instagram-y posts. Well, you can't broadcast on top of them. Even though I was broadcasting years before most of the other shows that are currently broadcasting on the UK started broadcasting. But hey, can't broadcast on top of them. Yeah. Mm. It's basically to keep the peace, folks. That's what it's all about, is to keep the peace. Um, Because, hey, I would love to change the day that the UK vape shows broadcasted on. I would love to change the day. I don't like a Thursday. I just don't. I haven't liked the Thursday for a long time now. Have not liked broadcasting on a Thursday. I would rather broadcast on the weekend. Friday, Saturday or Sunday. But I can't because all the major booking, especially Saturday, all the major times have already been booked. Well, not booked, they've just been broadcasted. I would love to move the UK vape show away from a Thursday. I would love to move it away from a Thursday, but I can't. Because I don't want to broadcast on top of anyone else. I just don't want to do it. Yeah. But there we go. Patrons, subscribe stars, and YouTube members, keep an eye on your respective feed for the announcement about where or what time and what day the floof cast is going to be moving to. And also people on YouTube and people on YouTube members, subscribe star and Patreon, keep an eye on the feed for when the Zoom calls will be starting up. Because they'll be starting up they'll be starting up the same day the floof cast is on. That's when they'll be starting up. Um, it's just figuring out the days to actually do it. Just figuring those out. I'm not so worried. I'm not so worried about doing the floof cast or broadcasting the floof cast on top of another live show because the floof cast is only for the Patreon, subscribe star, and YouTube members. The floof army, it's not a public broadcast. But what I am worried about is the SX Mini one. Don't want to broadcast that on top of someone else. And if I can avoid it, I'd rather not broadcast the floof cast on top of someone else. I'd rather not. But I may get to a point where I don't really have a choice. So we'll f- I'll, I'll figure out something. I need to have a look and see what the running order is for different live shows in the UK. I'll need to have a look and see. I'll need to have a look and see who's broadcasting on what time slot. That's what I need to do. Anyway. <sighs> For everyone that voted in the eSig Click Awards, a big thank you. I think the polls have already closed. I'm not sure, though. I think they have closed. But yeah, for everyone that voted in the eSig Click uh, Awards, a very, very big thank you. Um, I'll be happy to get somewhere in the top three. I'm not expecting to get first place because FV, FV Vape Show is in there. And they've, they've, you know, well, they, 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 they got the Vape Around Awards last year. Mind you, some of that was down to me saying, don't vote for me. Because that's what I said for the Vape Around Award last May. Because at the beginning of, the beginning of this, no. Yeah, it was. The beginning of this year, uh, the beginning of this year, I wasn't really keeping all that well. And there really wasn't that much content going out for the last half of 2022. And the voting runs from the end of 2022 going into the beginning of 2023. And I think it was round about, 
I think it was uh, I think it was round about um, February March of this year that things started to pick up again in the channel and the health problems the health problems weren't as bad yeah they weren't as bad so yeah the FV vape show lads they ended up getting first place in the vape around awards I think it's going to be a very tight run thing for the e-sig click award YouTube category I think it's going to be a very tight run between the top five in that YouTube category uh, I am not taking it for granted this time round that I've got a good chance of winning. I think it's going to be very slim margins, especially with the FV Vape Show guys in there. It's going to be very slim margins. If I get somewhere in the top three, I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy with that. I mean, what? It's an eight, seven or eight year run now? Uh, seven or eight year run getting that ESA Click Award in a row, and it was a four year run in a row getting the Vape Around Award, that run's bound to end at some, well, for the Vape Around Award it ended because I said don't vote for me, so that's what ended that run, but, you know, the, the, the East Side Click Award run's bound to end at some point. It's got to end at some point. So it might be this year. It might be this year that run ends. You never know. I'll be happy to get somewhere in the top three, though. Somewhere in the top three, but, uh... Everyone that voted in the eSig Click Award, especially if you voted for a... <coughs> Don't fucking vape and talk at the same time, Vic, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm direct longing 12 milligram because I'm a fucking idiot. Right. It's all right. Vaping and talking at the same time when it's 3 milligram, but vaping and talking at the same time when you're, when you're exhaling a direct lung hit, 12 milligram hit... No, it hurts your vo it hurts your vocal cords if you do that. And you know what you're thinking? For fuck's sake, Vic, twelve milligrams. It's Nixalt. It's Nixalt that's in here. It's not free base, so I'm not feeling it. But I'm vaping way too fucking much. Way too much. It's like the half liter bottles of peach custard that I make up. I'm plowing through those half liter bottles far far quicker now than I was this time a couple of years ago and I'm thinking I'm vaping way too much here so I'm bumping up the neck uh, I'm getting I'm, I'm bumping up the neck at least in the peach custard to see if I vape any less I'm not I'm still vaping too much <sighs> but yeah don't vape and talk at the same time, Vic. Big thanks to everyone that, that voted in the ESIG Click Award, especially if you supported UK companies. There was a lot of UK companies in there in the various categories. There was a lot of categories this year, but yeah, there was a lot of categories. Uh, a big thanks to everyone that voted in the ESIG Click Award. As I said last week, the ESIG Click Awards are important. It would surprise you how many deals are done between companies and between companies and people in the YouTube reviewer section just going off of who's in the t doesn't even doesn't need to be first place just whoever's in the top three placements in each of those categories could be a wholesaler looking for a new liquid line it could be a distributor looking for a new hardware or new company to deal with or even for that matter another new liquid line it could be a company in China, or even that matter, a company in the EU, looking down that list for the influencers, or as I like to call myself, an actual fucking reviewer, looking for a new output, or looking for a new outlet for e-cig reviews. It would amaze you how many people in the industry actually take notice of the e-cig click award results. It would, it would amaze you. Uh, Pure Max, SX Mini, I'm not biased. Fantastic company exit. Well, that's why I'm working for them, because I fucking love the SX Mini stuff. I've got my own drip tip and top, because I'm not a fan of the little tiny one that it comes with. But yeah, the little Pure Max, I've got... Uh, what the hell have I got in this? Oh. Drake's E-Liquid Cherry and N-E-T Latakia Wild Tobacco. It's a hell of a mix that's in this. Never thought cherry and tobacco would go all that well, but the cherry they've got in this is actually quite nice. Mm. Twenty milligram free base. Yep. It's 
like a ball of sandpaper going down my throat, that is. Mm. I don't know if it's my body getting some resistance to nicotine now. That could be what's doing it, but I mean, the switch to 12 milligram in this hasn't done jack shit. I'm still vaping too much. And I think that's it, folks. Yeah, I think that's it. Rather short what's up uh, for today. Just as a recap for the people that missed last week's what's up, there is going to be a that was the year that was, probably at the end of this year, 31st or maybe even the 1st of January 2024. There's not going to be a best of, it's going to be a, it's going to be a vaping with Vic pick of the year. Because there isn't enough to do a best of, there just isn't. That isn't enough to... It's like a wash of pods, a smattering of some of the disposables that I've reviewed, and literally just a handful of tanks and RDAs. So it's going to be my picks of 2023. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's going to be probably done. It's going to be recorded on the week between the 25th and the 31st, that week that I take off. I always take it off at the end of every year. There's two reasons that I do that. Number one, to do my tax returns, because I like to wait to the very end of the year to do it, because I do it online, and the deadline for me is the is the end of January before I need to submit my tax returns. So I like to finalise the tax returns for vaping with Vic the business during the last week of December, so everything's all tallied up. That's also the week that I record that was the year that was, and it's also the week that I record the best of vid. So yeah, both those videos are going to be done at the very end of this year, folks. Yeah. And I think... I think that basically does it, folks. Nothing... Yeah, that's that, that basically covers everything. Nothing much left to cover. Anyway, that's it from me, folks. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.